Hey everyone, Technomentary with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix a Samsung phone screen flickering. So let's get started. So if you're noticing a flickering on your screen, the very first thing to do here is pull down the top menu here and then pull a little bit further down. And then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and adjust the lighting here on terms of you want to make it low and then high and see if that flickering goes away. It could be simple as that, just adjusting your brightness, which would be a quick solution. Now, if that isn't working for you, the next thing you want to do is open up your settings. And once in your settings, we're going to go to a display. And under display here, we're going to turn off adaptive brightness. So we're going to go ahead into adaptive brightness. We're going to turn that off. And additionally, we're also going to see motion smoothness we're going to turn this on and instead of being adaptive we're going to go to standard so it's at 60 hertz we're going to apply that and we should go ahead and fix that using those toggles now let's say it's still not working the next thing to do is from the main settings here you're going to go down all the way to the very bottom until you see about phone you're going to tap on that and then tap on software information and you're going to find where it says bill number and tap it seven times to enter developer mode so want now after you tapped on a seven time it should say developer mode has been turned on and then we're going to go back and then back again and this time under the about phone we should see a new option that says developer option so we're going to tap on that and from developer option, we're going to scroll on down until we see option that says disable hardware overlap. So we're going to look for that here. So if you scroll down, you'll see here disable HW overlays. So we're going to turn that on. And now that should go ahead and fix any flickering that you are having on your iPhone. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.